have to be pretty pleased then with the with the way the depth in that farm system has really grown just in two years. I mean, it's really been very very pleased with the improvement. Not mm -hmm. satisfied with where we are, mm -hmm. uh, yes. and uh, that's that's an area again where there's no substitute for talent. Mm -hmm. There's no substitute for more talent. There's more, no substitute for bringing additional talent in at every opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, and so again, that's not something that's going to stop. We're going to continue focusing on the development system. We're going to continue focusing on infusing talent at every level through the organization. You know, we've had two good drafts. We need to get another one. We need to find ways to acquire talent uh, that will have an impact in the short term and long term uh, always. I think that's going to be, that's not a strategy that stops. Uh, that's a strategy that we need to continue so we never get back in a situation where we have a relatively bare cupboard needs to get stronger each year. The realization that we're not going to be right all the time, and that's why you need a lot of players, a lot of talented <laughs> players. Uh, we're not going to be right all the time in the draft. We're not going to be right all the time uh, you know, on the pro scouting in terms of trades or free agent acquisitions. We feel like uh, we've got the right people in place to be right more often than other teams. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, we need a lot of different players because we're not perfect, and uh, nobody in this game is. And so we got to give ourselves some options. Pedro, um, he's got to continue to demonstrate he's committed to being a third baseman physically um, and defensively, and he's gone out and uh, you know made strides over the course of the year. He's got to do it again at a higher level where the speed of the game increases that much. Um, and the other thing, too, is I think Pedro recognized a lot of things in Altoona in terms of trusting himself, not trying to do too much, controlling his effort level. Um, but it's a whole other world when you now do it at AAA because it's going to be a whole other world when you do it in the big leagues. I have no doubt that the system today has as much talent, more talent than we've had in the last 10 years. Um, you know, I think Neil made a comment about the talent level and somebody took him to task because in the late 1960s, early 1970s, certainly the system had a lot of talent. So I won't go as far <laughs> as to say that uh, the minor league system today is as loaded as it was in the late 1960s, but that's been our goal and objective ever since we got in here, and that is to get the system back to the point where it was in the late 60s and 1970s, which really uh, allowed the Pirates to have a decade of excellence. Today is our future, so no, 2010 is the beginning of the next dynasty of the Pirates for me.